All right, welcome back to Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the marquee tools. Uh, currently, I'm looking at an image from Mars. Believe it or not, uh, this is an incredible image captured from NASA. If you go to nasa.gov, uh, they have their site here, which is a pretty cool site that has tons of images through their galleries. Uh, now, some of these are concept pieces, so be aware of that. But the image galleries, if they are actual photos from like NASA, uh, NASA is very cool. They have them available for use for both commercial and private use, which is really cool. So you can scroll down to the mission galleries and choose one, whichever one you like. I've been choosing a lot from the Hubble Space Telescope and then, of course, uh, the Mars missions for the last photo. I'll click on Hubble so you can see uh, what would happen when you click on it. So you get a bunch of images here that you can sort of cycle through and you can click on more images if you like. If you like one of them, all you got to do is click on it and it will pop open here and then uh, click on the view image feature which will expand it a little bit bigger uh, and then you can actually click on it and you know maximize the size and see it really big and then right click save image as and basically save it in your document here so I already have this image I'll go ahead and just overwrite it click save click replace now let's go back to Photoshop here so what I want to do is basically bring in some of those images and start the compositing process. Maybe I will choose that last image of the spiral might be kind of cool. Go ahead and open that up and I'm going to go file open uh, and open up uh, maybe Mars here, uh, which would be kind of silly to have Mars and Mars. So maybe Neptune here and click open. And the idea here is I'm going to use Mars as like um, a sort of background image and then composite the other images in here somehow uh, just to give you an idea of how this can work so I'm gonna basically show you several different ways to combine the photos uh, the first one I'm gonna use is my favorite which is just the move tool and the way it works is you simply hold down the mouse drag up to the document that you want to transfer the photo to drag downwards and you'll see a little plus symbol and I haven't released the mouse at this moment and once I release the image pops in here simple as that so uh, basically yeah pops in I'm gonna hit control or command zero just to frame up and show my entire image um, I could have this spiraling image come out maybe from the background here something like that um, right now it's not blending or anything so I'm gonna turn it off temporarily what I want to do is select my background layer and essentially select this area along here minus the sand uh, just so I have a masking area now I could use the rectangular marquee tool and quite often that will work the only problem is the little um, edge along here that I want to modify a little bit so uh, you could use the rectangular marquee tool and we are going to cover these tools um, this would be one way so you can hit Q for quick mask and basically that's like clicking a little button here and then paint out the rest here so I'm going to hit uh, D which is the default for a brush and uh, open up my brush uh, size by hitting the right bracket and then basically paint out 100% opacity as I paint basically what happens here is um, I'm essentially adding the mask so that's what I'm doing here I'm adding to the selection here um, and then if I go too far say I go into there I can hit the X key which is basically flipping the black and white uh, and now I'm subtracting from that mask now what I'm going to do is hit the Q key so you can see how the selection has modified here. I'm going to click uh, the Q key again or this time maybe I'll actually click the little icon down here. It looks like a little camera and once you click on it basically you're in the mass mode. Now it's important to have pure black so hit the D key which will give you the default black and white and just make sure black is your foreground color as you're doing this. Uh, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm basically gonna kinda feather out the selection stuff so I'm not concerned and I'm gonna leave some of the sky this is kinda like a general sort of selection here so I'm gonna hit Q and this looks okay uh, I could maybe bring it down just a little bit maybe I will do that there's a little extra junk here that needs to be taken away I don't want I it's okay if this space goes into the mountains a little bit but I don't want extra sky so I think that'll work hit Q again and that that should be pretty close so I'm going to select the top layer, turn it back on, and it's right in the center here. Um, I can move it wherever I want, but 
that'll adjust my selection here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this mass first and then I can move it around in a way. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to add the mass by clicking on the square circle at the bottom here. It looks like a little camera icon. It's actually very similar to the quick mass mode. So uh, you can remember those just by clicking on it and voila. Now you can see this image is masked. Now it's not blending very well, but it's in here. Now I can select the photo and if I start to move, what will happen is uh, it doesn't really seem to be following the mask here. So I'm going to undo a couple times um, and then add that mask again. And what you need to do to move around inside the mask is uncheck this little chain link here and then select the photo. Once you do that, then you can see that as I move up and down, it sort of follows the mask area. Now I'm thinking this would be kind of cool to have on the corner here, something like this. Now I'm going to bring some other images, so we'll, we'll blend this out in a sec with another image. Um, I have this Neptune here, but I think I need another space scene, so I'm going to go File Open. And let's see, I may choose, I don't know, maybe this red one here. Click Open. And then this time I'm going to use the Marquee Selection tool. Some people like to do this to make a copy, basically select everything. Hit the, the uh, you can go to then edit and copy, uh, which has a hot key there, control C or command C on the Mac. And then uh, go to your other image here and then go to edit and choose the paste command, which has the hot key of control V or command V on a Mac. And voila, now uh, I can bring this wherever I want. If I want it to be here, um, that's fine. Now, typically you don't want to free transform uh, these images, so I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'm going to show you another tutorial how to free transform. But um, basically I'm going to line it up just like that. Now, I already have a mask here. I can hold Alt or Option and simply drag that mask up and it literally duplicates it. And look at that. Now we've got two of these images combined together. Now, I'm going to change the blend mode of some of these and see you know what it might look like so multiply on this one um, let's try multiply on this one just to kind of see we're starting to get some effects there now they're too close to each other so I want to make sure there's a little bit of gap there uh, let's try overlay overlay I kind of like and then I'm going to click on this one and choose overlay also there we go that's what I was kind of going for now we need to bring in a few more images so I'm just going to go file open uh, let's see, I think I'll choose this one next, click open. And this time I'm just going to use the hotkeys, control A to select all, control C to copy. And again, that would be command A and then command C on a Mac. And then over here, uh, command V on a Mac, but command uh, control V on a PC. And then I'm going to drag it up to a certain level, something like that. And, and with smart guys, it's kind of cool. It snaps to that area. Now again, I can hold the alter option on one of these masks and drag up and voila, I've got that same mask. Next, I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay and look at that. I got this cool space thing. Now uh, I could do that with one more time. Go file open. Let's find another spacey kind of cool image. Uh, maybe this one. Click open. And this time, uh, let's see, I think I'll just uh, I'll try to show you one more time how to do a different way where you bring this into the other document. Now the original that I have is called this Mars Polar Deposit. So got to remember which one that is. And it's this one. I'm going to close out some of these real quick. Uh, the ones I've already copied. And it's this one here. So I'm going to right click on the layer, go to duplicate layer. And in here, choose a different document type. And the one I want is the Mars Polar Deposit main. Click OK. And you'll see that it's popped in here in the center, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to drag us over to the right here until it snaps into place. Um, I can move it up or down. And then again, hold Alt or Option and drag this uh, mask and then change that blend mode back to overlay.